To be completely honest, the majority of you watching this video won't become data scientists. While this is a hard truth, it might not actually be as bad a thing as you think. I know that most of my videos are focused on how to become a data scientist. While I think it's possible for anyone to break into this field, I also think it's important to set realistic expectations with you all. I'm not the type to sugarcoat things, and to be completely clear, becoming a data scientist is very difficult. In this video, I'll talk about the challenges of breaking into the data science career path. We will end on a positive note with some actionable advice that can help you become one of the people that makes it in this profession. The first challenge that I see is that there's a high educational barrier to entry. Data science is a Frankenstein of computer science, of statistics and business knowledge. Because it's a multidisciplinary field, there's a significant amount of content to learn. Learning enough of each of these fields to be competitive in the job market is a large ordeal. It can take years of study to be considered qualified by some employers. It also takes a significant amount of time and motivation to climb this educational mountain. If you've watched my videos before, you know that I think projects are the quickest way to learn these skills. I've linked some more resources on those in the description and above in the top right corner. Fortunately, there are more places to learn data science than ever before. You have great free resources like Kaggle.com and you have well-structured paid resources like 365 Data Science and quite a few others. There are also formal courses of study like master's programs that are available. This is still an uphill battle, but it's far more streamlined than, than my experience was even five or, or seven years ago. Ever since someone called data science the sexiest job of the 21st century, there have been a huge flood of applications to positions. This has created a large oversupply of entry-level data scientists. The more people that are applying, the lower the chances are that you land a position. Just basic math. Some research done by Sharpest Minds suggests that the callback rate for a job board application is around just 2%. That means you could be applying to upwards of 50 positions before getting your first interview. I'll be going into this data in far more depth in my video next week. While this can seem overwhelming, I've seen many of the resumes that are being submitted for these positions. You'd be shocked at how easy it is to differentiate yourself with hard work on projects and unique experiences. You should also note that the success rate for alternative reach out, i.e. non-job boards, is significantly higher and there's also far less people applying through those channels. Again, more on those stats next week. The third difficulty might be that data science just isn't for you. It's really easy to get excited about all the things that you can build until you know, you're five hours into cleaning data for your first project. This is totally okay. In order to put in the time to learn the necessary skills, I think that you have to have some love of the whole process or have a really, really compelling reason to be willing to sacrifice the time that you're gonna spend learning and doing projects. I get really frustrated when I see people entering data science for the money. While in this profession, you can get compensated really well, there are plenty of other jobs, including software engineering, where the upfront cost of time, energy, and training to make a great paycheck is significantly lower. Some people can do it, but I know that I would not have gotten through all of my studying, my projects, my interviews, everything else I've done without having a tremendous passion for what I was doing. It can be really confusing to apply to your first data science job. Should you have all the skills and aptitudes that are on the job application? Is it even possible to know that much for a single role? One of the biggest challenges for landing a data science job is that positions are still poorly defined. Companies hiring their first data scientist want people who can do everything. And these people just don't exist for how much these companies are willing to pay them. So many people in my communities are trying to collect as many skills as possible to make them desirable to as many jobs as possible. To me, this is a really broken system and I don't recommend collecting skills like Pokemon to try and impress companies. I'm also not sure what the exact solution could be. One thing that could help would be to be more selective with your application process, not to cast a wider net. In a lot of ways, applying to fewer jobs where you have a higher chance of getting an interview and a clear expectation about what the work is gonna be like could be beneficial uh, compared to sending out millions of resumes. You can find these roles by reaching out to companies on LinkedIn or through your personal network. My friend Tina Wong actually recommends 
finding the jobs you're looking for before learning the skills. The type of skills you're going to be using at big tech companies versus startups versus a Fortune 500 company are going to be very different. And if you hone in on one type of work or one type of industry, you might be able to niche down on your skills and really focus on the most important ones for those types of positions. If you thought just learning the basics of data science was hard, try keeping up to date with all the advancements in technology. Part of being a data scientist is continued learning. Depending on the needs of your business, you might have to start picking up tools and skills at an insane pace. This can be a grind, and it will be really difficult if you don't have solid habits around continued learning. That's one of the reasons why I started the 66 Days of Data Initiative. If you don't like this grind, or you can't create strong habits around learning new things, you'll really struggle to make it in this profession. This list has been a mix of structural forces working against you and some individual traits that you may or may not have. I firmly believe that these are all conquerable, but it will without a doubt be a difficult ascent. Now for some positive news related to your data science journey. First, congratulations. If you've made it this far into the video, it's likely that you have the single most important skill for breaking into the data science path. That skill is called grit. If you follow my newsletter, Data Dribble, you'll know that I recently finished a book called Grit by Angela Duckworth. Grit is passion and sustained persistence applied to a long-term achievement. Her research proved that if you're willing to stick with something, even when things get really difficult, you're more likely to achieve success than someone who is far more talented than you are. None of this will happen overnight, but if you stay consistent, even in the face of adversity, and trust me, there will be tons of adversity in data science, you'll have a real shot at making it in this profession. In addition to grit, you have access to plenty of great resources and communities just from watching this video. You have access to the 66 Days of Data Discord, where you can meet like-minded peers that can help to motivate you. Actually, a group that met on the 66 Days of Data Discord just recently placed in the chest x-ray abnormality detection cackle competition. Very impressive. Almost as impressive as me saying that whole name without messing it up. You also have great free resources like Kaggle, where you have access to data sets and coursework. There are also plenty of affordable and well-structured online certificates as well, like 365 Data Science, among others. I have a link to 57% off in the description for their platform if that is something that you're interested in. Again, this will be hard, but everyone watching has it in them to make a career out of data science. The question is, are you willing to put in the time, the effort, the sweat, and the tears to do so? And trust me, I've cried quite a few tears uh, about data science. It's a little embarrassing. Oh, I thought this would be easier. Before I leave you, this episode is brought to you by a newsletter, Data Dribble. It's completely free to join, and through it, you can stay up to date with all the things that I am currently learning. You can hear more about the great books I'm digging into, like Grit, or you can see what's next to come on this channel. I also do some pretty sweet giveaways there, so definitely sign up if you don't want to miss out on those. As usual, thank you so much for watching, and good luck on your data science journey. Where you can have access to great data sex. <laughs> great data sex. <laughs>